hey guys welcome to today's video so guys in today's video i want to share with you a topic that i've been seeing going around in fragcom you know on youtube and i think have i ever seen it on instagram i'm not sure if i've seen it on instagram but for sure on youtube i've seen this video going around and it's i have x amount of fragrances like enter the number whether it's 300 400 500 600 fragrances but these are the 10 i only wear or the five i only wear so i haven't watched any of the videos however the thumbnail has gotten my attention because honestly it sounded crazy to me it's like okay you have over 500 fragrances and you only wear five like why why do you have so many fragrances and you're only wearing five maybe we need to sit down and reconsider this collection but then i got to thinking about it and i came in here and i was like okay you have you meaning me you have over 300 bottles of fragrances and here is my perfume collection here this is the majority of my fragrances i have two other spots one on my vanity here where I have some fragrances and also behind me. So this right here that you're looking at is the bulk of my fragrances. And I'm not counting the body sprays and um, you know the fragrance mist that's down there. We're just talking about bottles of fragrances and I'm also not talking about decants. So full bottles of fragrances, I have over 300 bottles. And I have a certain amount, not a certain amount, but I have certain ones that I always reach for. So I decided to jump in on the trend and share with you guys the fragrances that I reach for the most. Now, let me preface this by saying I wear every single one of my fragrances. Y'all see that? I wear all of my fragrances. Now, I may not wear all of them all the time, but best believe I wear all my fragrances. But I do have some that I always reach for. I don't have to think too hard. They're easy. Well, they're easy to me. They might not be easy to some people, but um, they're easy reaches for me because I'm so comfortable with those fragrances. So that's why me personally, like when new fragrances come out, I don't necessarily jump on them unless I really, really want that fragrance. But I mean, I want the new Parfum Zomali fragrance. I also want the new Killian fragrance. Will I eventually buy them if I smell them and they're beautiful? Absolutely. But I feel like I have so many in my collection here that I need to get to know and really form a connection with before I can bring anybody else onto the mix. You know what I mean? Because like I said, I just really love fragrances. I just really love to smell good. It's not always about getting the new new because that train, like that uh, spiral or that snowball or whatever you want to call it, I don't want to end up going down. No, I think it's a rabbit hole. <laughs> that rabbit hole, I don't want to slip down because that one right there is very dangerous and I don't want to have to move my bags to put fragrances that because that's what will happen i'll end up with every new fragrance that comes out i'll probably end up hating some loving some you know what i mean so for me i just want to get to know all of my fragrances but there are some that i know a little bit more even here on this side like we're going to start over here that whenever i come to certain areas in my closet i'm just reaching for certain bottles and they know i'm about to pick them up you know what i mean like they know oh she about to come get me again <laughs> So if you want to see the fragrances that I wear the most out of my over 300 bottle collection, then just continue to watch. Guys, before we get started with the video, please make sure you like this video, thumbs it up, make sure you leave me a comment so we can get to know each other and make sure you're subscribed if you're not subscribed. I know sometimes my videos can come on you guys feed and you can think, oh, I'm subscribed to her because I always see her videos, but no, YouTube will get you like that and show you my videos because you've watched my videos in the past, but you're not actually subscribed. So make sure you're subscribed to the channel, like and comment. I respond to everybody all the time so we can get to know each other and let's just get Get this video started so when i come over here right <laughs> this is normally the first section that i come to because it has all my accessories my earrings my sunglasses my scarves my belts you know whatever so whenever i'm over here the fragrance that i reach for first can y'all tell can you tell <laughs> ysl libre le parfum i love this fragrance y'all i recently got this um i want to say i'm not sure when but it wasn't too long ago i haven't had it very long but i love it and as you can see from the dent i absolutely love this fragrance i love all my libres as you can see 
this one i love for layering like this one right here is like the layering god <laughs> because it just pairs beautifully with so many other fragrances because of that lavender and orange blossom notes but when i'm over here it's libre the le parfum which has um i believe it has caramel i'm not sure if it has a caramel note but it definitely has saffron um i'm not sure if it has honey you guys know i'll probably leave the notes up but this is definitely one that i'm always reaching for i absolutely love it now i will say that i go through seasons and phases with my fragrances because mark jacobs perfect intense last year this time this had a serious dent and if y'all follow this channel y'all already know i love this fragrance and this had the most illest dent of ever <laughs> last year like i ran through that bottle so quickly so this is my backup bottle i've sprayed it a few times as you can see but nothing like what i did last year and i still love it it's just that i wore it so much last year that i'm just so used to the scent and i just want to smell something different but that used to be like an easy reach like last year this time that fragrance would have been on this list now another one Dolce & Gabbana the only one which I'm hearing they pulled it from all the stores and now they're only sold at Dolce & Gabbana or something like that I'm not sure but if you could get this get this because it's caramel coffee um it smells amazing it's sweet it's an easy reach as you can see it's so yummy and gourmand to me but not like edible like food it doesn't smell too much like coffee it's just the right mix to me I just love it so much and I don't know why they pulled it from the stores if any of you guys know, can you please share the wealth in the comment section? Because, I mean, inquiring minds want to know. So, like I said, in this section, it's always YSL Libre, Le Parfum, or Dolce & Gabbana, the only one. Um, not intense. That's the original only one. Now, when I come over here, it's two fragrances. Well, actually, now it's three. Because, as you guys know, I've been layering my little heart away <laughs> with my... Um, oud bouquet by lancome y'all look at this dent whose dent looks like this in their lancome fragrance because this is a beast you don't have to overspray this fragrance this is a powerhouse you have to really be in the mood for it but because i layer it with so many of my fragrances that's why it looks like this because this is like everything so right now that's one of my fragrances that i'm always reaching for also Mongerlan Intense, it's an easy reach for me. It smells classy. It smells like a beautiful, sweet, pretty feminine vanilla fragrance. I believe it has lavender in here. There's a fruity note in here as well. It's a beautiful rose fragrance. It smells like the original, but just more intense. So it's definitely like an intense, stronger version of the original Mongerlan, which I also have right here. But y'all, look at this. Kayali Vanilla 28. Can y'all see this? Like, this is crazy. <laughs> this is another fragrance that I love to layer with other fragrances. But on its own, it's just so sweet and beautiful. It's a beautiful, sweet, musky vanilla scent. It smells like vanilla caramel candy. Like, it's so super sweet. But I love it. Like, it just pairs well with other fragrances. It's just beautiful on its own. It's one of the best, if not the best, Kaoli fragrance in my opinion. I absolutely love it. And the other one in this section that I'm always reaching for is another Kaoli. And it's Eden Juicy Apple 01. Very sweet, very playful, very feminine. It smells like apples and berries and sweet fruits and candy, like all rolled up in one. Honestly, guys, it's like a very sweet elevated fragrance mist in my opinion but it just smells so good like it just smells good i can't help it and as you can see from my dent if you guys can see because i'm not sure the light is that good in this area but y'all can see that another one that i love to layer with other fragrances so we're done with this area i do reach for other fragrances in this area guys but the majority of the time it's le parfum the only one um mongerlan intense and the two kaolis that i just showed you all right, so now over here, up here we have my Creed and Windflowers is like an easy reach for me. As you can see from my dent, y'all, like this is crazy. I love this fragrance. You can wear it all year round. It's super sweet, super feminine, but it still has like a gourmand touch to it. It's like, how can I describe this? It doesn't smell airy and light. It smells thick and sweet. 
it has brown sugar it has praline um i believe there's a tuberose note in here there's rose in here it's just a beautiful scent i just love it it's like i said it's feminine it's an all year round type of scent i can see this as a signature scent it's complimented in my um collection i don't feel like it's a hard one to love you know what i mean like i feel like it's an easy reach easy blind buy easy to love it's not like one of my other favorites by creed um aventus i love aventus y'all but honestly like i already know that that's not for everybody i feel like wind flowers if you love feminine sweet fragrances you can you know wear wind flowers so as you can see this is an easy reach for me absolutely love it now in the bond section you guys already know y'all already know nomad nomad is definitely an easy reach fragrance for me i mean it's pear and oud it's a fruity oud fragrance and i'm obsessed like honestly guys this fragrance right here i'm not gonna say it's my favorite bond because i love my bond fragrances but this one like on a date night or if i'm going out with my friends if i'm going out in the evening or at night and it calls me to be a little bit more elevated a little bit more dressed up and i really don't know what to wear nomad is the one that's going to steal the show okay i know i'm going to be smelled i know i'm going to get compliments i know it's going to last long on my skin like it just checks all the boxes for me and i absolutely love it like i said it's a fruity oud fragrance I feel like it's unisex it's not super feminine but it's not masculine either um i feel like if you love feminine scents you know don't blind buy this but give it a try because this may surprise you this is a beautiful one another one of my bond fragrances that i'm always reaching for is tribeca y'all this one right here i smelled this last year or not last year because i bought this last year i smelled it when it first came out i believe two years ago and i felt like it smelled like baccarat rouge by 40 i mean i felt the same way about greenwich village but this is a beautiful caramel sweet coffee shop type fragrance like it smells like someone wearing baccarat rouge in a coffee shop like it doesn't smell like baccarat rouge but if you're in a coffee shop and you smell all those scents of the coffee shop pistachios and biscotti biscuits this that the third and someone walks in that drenched themselves in baccarat rouge now when the air kind of like blows and you get wafts of the scent of baccarat rouge mixed in with all the scents of the coffee shop that's what i get from tribeca and i freaking love it it's not like a beast mode smell me before you see me now nomad that's more of a beast than this but this just smells so good overspray this get your life um i wish i can see in like my dent in here because i already know i did damage in this y'all will i wear this in the spring probably not um yeah i don't really feel like i'd want to wear it in the spring although you can i'm just saying for me because you know whatever like i have a lot of other spring fragrances that i'm very excited to wear so i'll you know put this down and give this a break until the fall but this is a beautiful one that i'm always reaching for i love me some delina like i love me some delina i love delina la rose but when it comes to delina exclusive honey i mean for this time of the year this time of the year it's all about delina exclusive because it's colder here as soon as fall and winter hits it's all about delina exclusive as soon as spring summer hits for me it's all about delina so because i'm shooting this video in the winter i mean you know it's cold outside right now it's all about delina exclusive so this one is an easy reach for me this used to be like a dressy scent for me but honestly y'all i wear this all the time <laughs> i layer it with oud bouquet i mean i just wear it whenever i want to smell it because it just smells amazing and you really can't see the dent in this one either but this is another one that out of all of my parfums and marley's right now this is the one that i'm wearing the most all right now in my bdk section can y'all figure it out <laughs> it's rouge smoking like this is an all year round type of scent for me i wear this all the time as you can see from my dent i hate when i say hate i hate this sticker like honestly it looks like i'm dirty but it's because of the grease and the oil and all that and it's like a white sticker it's just a whole hot mess but the juice inside is so beautiful so feminine it smells like a root beer float, like a cherry float, some type of a cherry root beer float with ice cream or something. Like it just smells so good to me. 
it's another easy reach um not anything that i wear super dressed up but if you layer it with other fragrances then you can wear it out at night but for the most part this is like a daytime evening not doing too much going to bed going shopping running errands i just want to smell this because this is a very comforting sweet smelling scent that i absolutely love so definitely rouge smoking another bdk fragrance that i'm always reaching for is passe soir as y'all can see from this dent Passe Soir is so gorgeous. Actually, ooh, my sticker looks so much better on this than it does for Rouge Smoking. I don't know what the hell happened to my Rouge Smoking sticker, but she looked like she went through war. But this one right here is not for everybody. I feel like you either love it or hate it. It's fruity, it's sweet, it has ginger, it has a fruit note in it that I don't, like I've never eaten this fruit. I don't even think I've ever encountered this fruit. Like I said, it's not a safe blind buy. It's not for everybody because it's very different. It's a very unique fragrance. So if you like unique scents, try this one out, get a sample, decant, whatever. But um, yeah, it's not for everybody. But you could also save 20% if you're interested on soavantgarde.com using my discount code, the great 20. So Passe Soir, definitely one that I reach for very often, as you can see. Now, this is a newer fragrance to my collection. So now we're down in Tom Ford. This fragrance is the Cherry Smoke fragrance by Tom Ford that came out, um, I wanna say January 1st or 2nd. This fragrance right here, like if you love Lost Cherry, I feel like you'll love this fragrance. It's a more smoky, woody, yeah, smoky and woody large cherry. I mean, that's pretty much what it is. The cherry note isn't as sweet, but it's not a bitter cherry. It's still a sweet fragrance, but not sweet like lost cherry. I love this so much, y'all. It is a newer fragrance to my collection, but I love layering it. I love wearing it on its own. And I'm trying to get all my wares out of it right now while it's still pretty cold outside because it's kind of warming up. Like, I think it was like 60 something degrees today, but I'm just trying to get my wares out of it because like I said, it is a beautiful, smoky, cherry, woody scent and I love it. Now we're down here in the, what section is this? My sincere initial, uh, Nishani, my little Roja, my little Kajal. But y'all, this right here, Nishani Ani, when I tell you, this fragrance is an obsession. Let me show y'all my dent. I love this. Like, I have to make myself not reach for this because it is so incredible to me. It's another one that's not a safe blind buy. And stay tuned, guys, because I have a video of dangerous blind buys coming for you guys next Sunday. Um, because I'm always talking about safe blind buy. Oh, this is a safe blind buy or whatever, whatever. But I want to share with y'all fragrances that are dangerous, okay? Even though I may love them and be obsessed with them, hence Nishani Ani, judging by what you guys tell me and just even knowing scents on my own like okay even though i love this it's a very unique fragrance i can tell that it's unisex it's not super feminine for women who want to smell extra feminine you know what i mean so it's not a safe blind buy although i'm obsessed with the scent so yeah so stay tuned for the dangerous blind buys <laughs> But yeah, y'all, so Nishani Ani, it's green, it's sweet, it's a little spicy, it's vanilla. It's so different. I never ever wear this fragrance and not get a compliment. And I kid you not, this fragrance gets so much attention. This fragrance pairs beautifully with other fragrances. This fragrance is a powerhouse. It lasts forever on the skin. It is a beast. It's unique. It's everything, y'all. Okay, Nishani Ani is one of those fragrances I will always have in my collection. I always want this. Like, I always want to smell this. It smells so amazing. I love it, y'all. Look at that. Always reaching for this. So, Nishani Ani. Now, where is high frequency? Is it? No, this is side effect. Atomic Rose. Okay. High frequency by Initio. Y'all, this fragrance right here is my almond dream. Okay. It's a woody almondy oh my god it's so sexy all right like i don't have to smell any of these fragrances do y'all notice i don't have to pop the top and smell them because i know exactly what they smell like because these are fragrances that i wear all the time so like i said it's a woody like musky just super sexy almond scent um it's a unisex scent but it's not masculine leaning but it's also not super femme either so don't think 
almond scent like um hypnotic poison or anything like that like this is on another level all initial fragrances are on another level i've been speaking about them since 2020 since the start of my channel i absolutely love all of my initial fragrances some of them i've gotten sent to me but i've been purchasing initial with my own coins because they're just top tier period like i don't need a discount for these fragrances because they smell so good and they're worth the coin so high frequency is definitely one that y'all need to get your nose on because if you love almond this is it right here all right all right down here we have blanche bet y'all i recently was sent this fragrance by the fragrance group this fragrance right here is a beautiful sweet milky lactonic scent and i told y'all so many times i am not a lactonic fragrance girl i have a few in my collection but that's not a scent profile that if somebody says it's lactonic i'm not like ooh, i want to try that nah because for me the milky lactonic type scents can turn my stomach and it can feel like i'm about to throw up it's just not happening but for some reason this one right here it's so gorgeous to me it smells like there's almond in it it smells like there's coconut there's also a tuberose note but it's not a sharp um animalic style type tuberose it's not rubbery it's also not bubble gummy it's just a beautiful white floral fragrance it's just so pretty also not a safe flying by because like i said that lactonic nature can turn your stomach and one of my subbies latanya she said this was a no ma'am for her she said no ma'am no pam no ma'am no pam to the blanche beds but guys if you can handle this or if you can try to get a sample or a decant whatever try it out because you're either gonna love it or hate it i feel like it's one of those fragrances that is either gonna captivate you and like take you to a far land somewhere with a bunch of unicorns or you're gonna be like no ma'am no pam so try it out but blanche bet i'm always reaching for it and y'all i don't feel like picking it up but dom rosa the one right there behind it always reaching for that as well love it so much all right so i mean <laughs> the proof is in the den and we ain't gonna spend too much time over here all right because i don't even want to tussle with y'all but this is baccarat rouge 540 have y'all ever heard of this fragrance it's a fragrance by a perfumer named Francis Kirk John. I'm not sure if y'all have heard of him, but he's created this gorgeous masterpiece of a fragrance that people either love or hate. I'm one of those people who love it so much. Okay, it makes me sing so much. I don't care. I don't listen. I do not care. We ain't gonna spend too much time, but y'all know, like, I love this fragrance so much. It is what it is. Also, gentle fluidity gold by the same perfumer i mean what can i say it's vanilla it's juniper berries it's sweet it's a little spicy this is just a beautiful angelic fragrance that i feel like every woman needs in their collection this just smells like heaven like it just smells heavenly to me it's so beautiful and i feel like the name is perfect for it like gentle fluidity gold like it's just a beautiful name beautiful fragrance it's not a powerhouse beast mode type of scent but you'll definitely smell it on you people will smell it on you it's an easy reach you can wear it dressed up you can wear it dressed down you can wear it around a bunch of people you can wear it to bed with yourself you can wear it with your part listen you can wear this okay like this right here is such an easy fragrance and i'm wearing it all the time as you can see from the dent now this video isn't a um, show me your dent video so i don't know how it turned into oh look at the dent like y'all see i be wearing it it's not even like that y'all <laughs> but it just so happens that those fragrances have the most dents in them so here we have fragrance dubois i mean i don't think i have to say too much this is cavort i love this fragrance so much i mean i love it down to the ground okay this fragrance is so gorgeous. I love it. It makes me feel sexy. It makes me feel special. It's one of those fragrances that I feel like every woman should have in their collection because for that special date night, you need Cavort. It's spicy. It has saffron. It's super sexy. It's not a safe flying by again. Not for everybody. I don't feel like everybody's gonna understand this fragrance, but if you know, you know, okay? Like, like I said, it's spicy. It has a little leathery component to it. It's sweet, but it's not like a fruity sweet or candy sweet or gourmand sweet. It's just, 
this is just everything okay i love it so much and i wear it all the time this is like a date night fragrance or if i'm going out in the evening and i really don't know what to wear it's another one that i'm going to reach We're up for. to the killian section here and this baby right here rolling in love gets a lot of love for me okay let me see if y'all can see the dent can you see the oh i'm gonna need a new bottle y'all can y'all see that you see it right there oh my goodness another one that's milky like tonic almondy creamy let me put this down another like almondy milky lactonic type of fragrance it's almost kind of similar to um blanche bet not really but i feel like if you like one you'll like the other if you love one you'll love the other it's one of those type fragrances to me so rolling in love definitely and also angel share I wear angel share i mean as you can see like <laughs> like it's almost done it's cognac it's apple pie it's one of those fragrances that in the winter or the fall like when i just want to feel comforted and cozy i'm reaching for angel share it's cozy it's comforting it's sexy another one that a lot of people don't talk about that i absolutely love is um apple brandy on the rocks this is a pineapple um, I believe it has some type of a, is it brandy in here? There's some type of a liqueur note in here as well. Y'all, this is everything, okay? A lot of people don't like it. I don't think it's a safe flying by. As you can see from my dent, I wear this fragrance all the time. I wear it just as much as Angel Sheer, as you can see. If not, ooh, y'all, oh, that was the cap. Just as much as Angel Sheer, as y'all can see, if not more. Love it so much. Let me get my cap, y'all, hold on. So the next Killian that I'm always reaching for is love don't be shy and i'm trying to hold on to this fragrance because this has the original juice in it this fragrance was purchased in 2019 and as you can see i mean look at it it's all the way down there i'm nursing this fragrance y'all let me put it back up but love don't be shy orange blossom marshmallows i mean it's just a gorgeous sweet sexy scent i'm sure y'all have heard because everybody talks about this all the time about this being rihanna's signature scent at what point i mean we don't know but i just know that this fragrance is so super sexy it's super super sweet like tooth rotting don't wear it in the summertime type sweet because that's how thick and just amazing that sweet orange blossom marshmallow fragrance is i love it so much another one that i'm always wearing this is by tiziana terenzi this is deluxe this one has honey and rose and um what else honey rose uh coffee i believe there's musk in this fragrance it's super sweet it's kind of reminiscent to intense cafe i mean you'll hear about it all the time it's even kind of reminiscent to um gentle fluidity gold but just not as gentle <laughs> and fluid as gentle fluidity gold this is more thick like this juice smells very thick and syrupy and very intense you know what i mean compliment getter um you can wear this in the fall winter you can wear it in the summertime too i feel like this is an all year round type of scent although it's really really sweet but i've worn it in the summertime and i didn't pass out <laughs> so deluxe by tiziana terenzi another one that i'm always reaching for i haven't reached for it that much within the past couple of months but tibet is one that i'm always reaching for a couple of times a week i will spray tibet it's sweet it smells kind of like coconutty vacation vibes but like vacation at night it's super strong super polarizing not for everybody get your nose on it but i absolutely love it and that's that for up there from like my easy reaches and let me see when i come down here let's go down here to burberry her elixir y'all this fragrance right here smells like a sweet strawberry pound cake i'm obsessed okay i love all the burberry hers but elixir is my favorite it's more gourmand it smells more like it smells like a strawberry syrup drizzle over a pound cake or over a pie it's kind of powdery it's musky it's sweet and it's so easy to wear and so easy to layer with other fragrances i layered this with ubu k y'all by lancome and when i tell you it just turned elixir into a freaking like okay elixir like burberry her elixir is beyonce and when you layer her with ubu k she becomes sasha fierce okay does that make sense to y'all 
like that's what the vibe that it's giving like sasha fierce vibes it was giving that and i was so obsessed although i'm already obsessed with this scent because it's so gorgeous so that's one of my easy reaches another one valentino donna born in roma and this is the original okay like i love the original so much it's vanilla like bourbon vanilla black currant y'all this is just so super sexy okay nothing is beating this fragrance i got this one again when it first came out because i smelled it in macy's and oh no actually i got a sample took it home asked bay to smell it and he loved it and then i went and got it like this is everything my most worn fragrance on this level has to be clive christian 1872 <sighs> again this video is not about dents okay but i'm just showing y'all the dents because these are easy reaches for me this fragrance is a sweet green fruity fresh scent that kind of smells like men's cologne but in the best way possible okay it's not super feminine this fragrance i'm obsessed with okay it smells so good not for everybody not a safe blind buy but it's just something about the clive christian dna that when i wear clive christian fragrances like you can't tell me i'm not like investing in oil i don't own billions in oil because <laughs> that's how rich i feel when i wear these fragrances y'all don't understand like clive christian fragrances are everything i love them so much and this one right here was my first clive christian fragrance and oh my god y'all it's so good it's so easy like you can wear this shopping you can wear this out on a date you can wear this whenever you want to smell fruity fresh green and clean but when i do want to smell sweet and gourmand it's all about what about pop y'all popcorn caramel um what else is in here popcorn caramel this fragrance is not a safe blind buy it's not for everybody but y'all it's so addictive okay it's very edible smelling i don't know who i am because two years ago i would not want this fragrance on my skin it still manages to smell like perfume so i don't mind it because although i love smelling gourmand and edible and like a snack a literal snack i want to smell like snackish but like perfume okay i don't want to smell like i just smeared popcorn or cake over my skin like to me that's not sexy but if you can give me that illusion that vibe but still manage to smell like fragrance like perfume i'm all over you i feel like i covered everything right yeah so i don't know how many fragrances that was that i just showed y'all but those are the fragrances that i'm reaching for all the time so this is the end of the video y'all leave it in the comments below and let me know how many fragrances you have in your collection and which 5 10 15 20 whatever are the ones that you're always reaching for let's keep the conversation going in the comments below let me know what's your scent of the day and remember to stay safe be great stay great and always strive for greatness ai the great signing out but i'll see you in my next video peace